So I gotta lower my volume for when you scream like a f banshee when you hit a trick shot, and it's not a headshot. How surprising! <laughs> How surprising! Yeah, no, that that's I, I'm already like mentally preparing myself for that. I just have a sneaking suspicion that if I do manage to hit it, it's not gonna be a headshot. And it wasn't a headshot, dude. You literally can't draw that up any better. You literally cannot draw that up any better. Wow! I don't know the map glitch is like right here or something. You gotta go prone on one of these rocks over here, I think. Oh, yo, there it is! I didn't really intend to do it like that, but that was the the third uh the third headshot that I needed, and it uh, did not give me it. Oh, there it is. Yep, Interstellar is unlocked. Yeah, there we go. All right. You know, I'll take that. A little nice no-scope. Let's go. I still can't get over that. The timing of reading Spicy Cod's message and just for that to happen. It's not even like I could say he jinxed me because it wasn't a jinx. That's just literally my luck on full display right there. I guess I'll have to give the high-rise crane shot another go when I complete the Grand Mastery charm of this game. So anyways though, what's going on guys? It's Rage and once again, welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3. As you guys can see, the grind is now done. Interstellar has been unlocked. I say the grind is now done as far as like the regular multiplayer grind goes, but we still got zombies and we have numerous different Grand Mastery charms to unlock. The main camo grind is done, but not that one. I will say though, the way that Interstellar looks is honestly very stellar. It looks so nice. I love all the stars in the galaxy. I, I, again, I really love these kind of galaxy-like camos. I really do. These are really pretty. Also, if you go into like really dark corners, these mastery camos do glow in the dark. If I can get on a map like Underpass, I'll show you guys better what I'm talking about. But you guys can kind of see that once you get more into the dark, the, the really light blue starts to shine more even here on Priceless. So like I was saying though, Interstellar is really only step one as we have all of these uh, Grand Mastery Charms to complete in the game. Again, already got started on it. I'm at 76 out of 400 for interstellar mastery i feel like the timing of all this is also going to work out really really well because again here tomorrow on wednesday or at least today on wednesday when this video goes up rust 24 7 is going to be live we got rust 24 7 and the return of the 10 v 10 mosh pit dude look at this the only thing is there are only 12 maps in this pool maps like rust and terminal are unfortunately not in here i actually don't know why terminal's not a part of this truthfully i can kind of see why terminal isn't a part of the list as of right now because of how just red ground war was back on og mw2 but man i am so stoked for both of those playlists to come to the game obviously for 10v10 sniping finally getting that red ground war feel back on these og mw2 maps i'm so ready for that but also with the addition of rust 24 7 it's gonna make this whole weapon charm grand mastery grind a lot easier as well speaking of rust 24 7 we also did get confirmation from uh, sledgehammer yesterday while they were doing their whole reddit ama whole lot that i want to talk about regarding that but they did confirm that shipment will be returning to the game. Season 1 is supposed to be starting on December 6th. I don't know if shipment's going to be coming right away because they did say that there was going to be uh, two 6v6 maps on the launch fit, so they're probably going to have one or two come for the midseason. Assuming that if they were to add shipment right there at the midseason, I feel like that would make the most sense. But honestly, can I say something kind of controversial yet so brave? I would honestly rather just prefer having Rust 24-7 over having shipment 24-7. Maybe that's a super unpopular opinion. Go ahead and let me know that down in the comments. But yeah, I, I would honestly just prefer to have rust in this game over shipment. I guess this is one of those times where I get to preposterously again boast the Grand Mastery charm that yes, I played a disgusting amount of shipment in Modern Warfare 22. Probably more than most. I mean, to be fair though, I do know that there are those players out there that will just strictly play shipment 24-7 once that comes into the game. But still though, for the amount of time that I put into Modern Warfare 22 and just getting the Grand Mastery charm done, I, I played a lot of shipment. It is a great map. It is like literally the ideal camo grinding map. It's just that map if you just want to sit there and get loads and loads of mindless kills like that is the way to get it done but also at the same time i just prefer rust because after playing shipment for so long and just have it being so dark outside starts to wear on your eyes a little bit so honestly having a much more i don't know brighter map would just make it more appealing i'm not really opposed to it coming back to the game regardless because yes it's going to make grinding things out a lot easier besides that though like i was mentioning a little bit ago with the whole reddit ama that was going on yesterday dude again sledgehammer's communication has been top tier i'm gonna have to go ahead and pull up a 
Charlie Intel's Twitter here in a little bit, but yeah, they answered a lot of questions about what's going to be happening to the game, what's going on, what they're planning on doing. Did see all of the things talking about skill-based matchmaking, and unfortunately, they, they can't really talk about it, which does really suck. And the thing is, is that it's not even a sledgehammer problem or a Treyarch or Infinity Ward thing at this point in time. It's just, I guess, something that Activision doesn't want the developers talking about. Which, at this point in time, this is now, what, the fifth Call of Duty where we've had this really cranked up skill-based matchmaking. We all know that it's in the game, so it's kind of like, why not just talk about it? I don't really know what the harm in it would be, but uh, there's probably something that I just don't know. Speaking of tweets, there was a post from Sledgehammer saying, more hours per player overall than Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 22. Modern Warfare Zombies is the most engaging third mode in Modern Warfare history. Campaign players putting in more time per player in Modern Warfare 3 than the previous two installments. Activision says Modern Warfare 3 has set records for the highest player engagement out of the current Modern Warfare trilogy and Modern Warfare Zombies is the most played co-op mode in Modern Warfare history. Thanks again like the shipment confirmation. Unfortunately, the Modern Warfare 2 2009 DLC maps are not returning like Bailout, Trailer Park. It honestly does kind of suck to see it, but also I'm like really spoiled right now with having all the MW2 remastered maps, so. They're talking about adding classic weapons, a streak looping update. One of the biggest things they talked about was eventually testing non-disbanding lobbies again, going back to the old days, which would be wonderful to see. As far as the whole campaign and zombies thing goes, I mean, the campaign is kind of surprising to see again, especially considering everyone's review on the game was, oh, it's so short. Which now that I've been sitting on it for a little bit, the more that I thought about it, like, I mean, four hours for a COD campaign isn't really that surprising, especially when you look at games like COD 4, World at War, the original MW2. Those games didn't take very long to beat either, like maybe, what, three and a half, four, four and a half hours, maybe? And the whole thing about zombies being the most replayed mode in Modern Warfare history actually does make a lot of sense, considering that zombies has always been a much more interactive thing than Spec Ops. It really is incredible to see all these, like, player engagement records and everything like that. It's, like, crazy. This is what happens when we have amazing communication. It's it's great right now. Truly, again, hoping that Sledgehammer can keep up this communication throughout the course of the year. And also, I was literally just talking about this in one of my recent videos on the UMP45. Sledgehammer says they are working to update their Groot skin to be more visible. An upcoming update will disable the skin until they can make adjustments to its visibility. Oh my god. What the? The way they lined up right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just missed a triple head. The way they all crossed over right there was so fast. Oh my god. Sweet that one. Gun incoming. Get to cover. Take your fire over here. Not this time, you Come on, man. Again, I know I'm a little bit late on all of this information on like everything that I've been talking about throughout the course of this video. The amount of news and information that broke on Monday was insane. I also believe within that whole uh, Reddit AMA discussion that was going on, while they were talking about the 10v10 playlist, the whole topic of the uh, Vanguard combat pacing came up, and I believe they also said something along the lines of trying to fit more than just 10v10 on a lot of these original MW2 maps. Because again, if you really think about it, maps like maybe Afghan, Derail. For example, I feel like we could almost see something again like uh, what we had with Red Star Blitz pacing back in Vanguard where it was 20v20 on that. I feel like that might be a little overkill on some of these maps, but I honestly feel like it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. Truly, I can't really lie though. If they were to have some sort of like 20v20 on a map like Derail, I feel like a lot of people would probably be happy about that and would give them a reason to actually play a map like Derail. And also, of course, on the whole like weapon charm grind side of things, if they were to have something like that, I obviously wouldn't complain about it. It would be really crazy to think about though just imagining something like 20 v 20 on derail i'm thinking to myself that i might be in a little over my head but at the same time if i did it in modern warfare 22 i could easily do it in this game i also recently have started playing some zombies and i am starting to get the hang of it i do already have a couple of things golden enigma i know i finished out the knives i finished out the rgl i do have both this kv and the zrg done in zombies so i'm gonna do a video on the longbow here pretty soon definitely gonna talk about it more when i go to play zombies but as of right now it really does suck that they kind of nerf the uh, exfil exploit well they nerfed exfilling in the sense of there's a lot less zombies at an exfil so you can't just run straight to it and then just train millions of zombies out there which i was honestly really looking forward to doing because if they didn't adjust that that's probably how i was just going to get a vast majority of the grind done this was definitely much more of a sit down and talk kind of update video with everything that's been going on this week again by the point in time this video goes up i'm going to be well into the 10v10 mosh pit and rust 24 7 i'll more than likely be live over on my twitch so if you guys aren't following 
following the live streams. If you guys would like to stop in, I'd love to have you. Step one of the multiplayer grind has once again been completed. Interstellar's done, but we have so much more to go with all of the weapon charms. Got the zombies grind going. I'm excited. I'm feeling good about this. Maybe in a little over my head with zombies grand mastery, but we'll see what happens. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below how Modern Warfare 3 is going for you guys. How far are you into the interstellar grind or are you guys doing Borealis? Go ahead and let me know that. As well as all of your thoughts and opinions on all of the stuff that dropped earlier this week as far as the whole Reddit AMA goes and everything like that. Thank you all so much again for checking out this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's Enrage and I will talk to you guys later. Take care everybody.